It's all about bringing a group of experts to, uh, together to say, what do we actually need to do to study UAPs? Now, that seems like a weird question, but it's actually a fair question from the scientific standpoint. You know, what are the points that we should really be looking at? Where are some of the key tales of saying this is an earthly problem or a weather problem or, or something we don't know? And, and the example I bring is when we look at, say, is it space junk or is it a meteor or is it a comet? We kind of know what are the signs, what are the physical characteristics and what are the data that we need to determine what it is and what it isn't. But with UAPs, we don't really have that. And so this is trying to bring together a range of experts to say, this is the data to collect. This is also the data we have. These are what you can say. This is what you can't say based on that data. Uh, and these are the tools and steps you can do, essentially the scientific process to help determine what is and what isn't. Because it's not just about what has been release now, but setting up a framework into the future. Right, so that maybe in the future we might not be confused by these things, but might be able to just point at them and go, aha. So uh, usually UFO sightings or UAP sightings are uh, so uh, dismissed because uh, you know, it's some trickery or some sort of trick of the light or something. Is there though some actual science, really interesting stuff to be learned here? And then there is. And, and I think that's the thing. I think a lot of people think we just want to dismiss it. No, we want to understand. That's our jobs. Um, one of the differences that we have nowadays is there's so much actually access to data and technology. I mean, the power of your phone to take a high quality video, you know, the camera power is of that of scientific cameras three decades ago. So now the average person can access information and then supply that information to us to help make those decisions quite quickly. So we've seen that shift. And then we've seen the shift of data from, um, again, military and other government sources that have lots of ranges of measurements that say, okay, we don't genuinely know what that is. We cannot say what that is as of yet. It doesn't mean we don't know. It's just we don't know yet. Uh, and I think that's an important distinction here because in science, we're all about gathering new data, refining theories, and moving forward. And so there are things that we now know today that we didn't know 20 or 30 years ago. I simply put, let's just think of drones. I think everyone pretty much know how drones are and work now. Ask someone that 20 years ago, not the case. I I'm always trying to be the most rational person I can. But there's a little bit of me that hopes that there could be aliens whizzing around. Is there any risk? Look, you know, I also, on that hope, NASA spends so much money trying to find microbes on Mars. If there's signs of life coming to Earth, we should look at it, right? Scientists are supposed to look at the data. So it's good to do this. I don't think there is a risk, though. Um, I think there's a risk in not understanding. If we just say we don't want to know or it's too scary or it maybe seems too out there, well, then that's actually not doing our jobs. It's not what we should be doing. We should be open to what the data tells us, no matter how exciting, troubling, or pushing the boundaries of our own acceptance that is. So I don't think we're gonna find anything dramatically scary. And I think a lot of people still do not believe many of these are aliens, but again, we could be wrong. And until policies and procedures and ways of doing these experiments are set out, we won't know that answer. You can't know if you don't check and you won't find cool new weather stuff unless you look at some of these, I reckon. Hey, Brad, thank you so much for joining us and I can't wait to see what we discover. Exactly. Some new weather phenomenon of Venus bouncing off the atmosphere. Bring it. <laughs>